far from me. It's okay though. Ooh. Serious trauma detected. Ooh. All right, let me Take see if down. I can res up. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, I'm here. They're not going to kill me, so don't worry about it. Immediate medical assistance worry, needed. Right, there's no way they're going to kill me. Agent, Let's go, baby Bill. Do your work. Do your mother. Let's go. Unkillable, bro. They can't kill me ever. Let's get it. And when you guys get up, I'm going to blow your minds. Get into cover if you can. I'm just gonna revive all of you. I'm gonna revive you with the hive. I gotta get a quick access button with this guy. All right. All right, so that's the first thing. I picked up the whole squad. You guys can kill them if you want. I picked up the whole squad. I'm also giving them armor. I'm keeping them alive. Now, the whole squad has used their their uh, abilities, right? So none of them right now have their uh, hives. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop my hive. And then if you look on the top, on top of me, you're gonna see all of them have their hive back now, okay? So this is, this is the play right now, yo. This is the build that I'm working on. And uh, I've ran this build with the Samian. I completed my first uh, Capitol Hill run with him. Make sure you check him out on YouTube. The name of the build is Godwired. He uh, demonstrated a while ago, so I'm just bringing it over to our community. I've also seen how the build works itself, and it is disgusting. I'm going to give you a few little pointers how I would like you to use it and how I would suggest you to run it. And you guys let me know in the comments how you like it. I'm going to explain where to get it from, how to use it, and everything you need to know in this video. So let's get it. Yo, what up, family? Just wanted to show you a little intro of situations that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going through in the game. The game right now is uh, pretty tuned to destroy you, okay? So I want to give you what you need to fight back, all right? Yo, my people, so for this build, I just wanted to go ahead and tell you that you can uh, craft this gear right here in the crafting bench, depending if you have uh, the slots or not. If not, just uh, farm gear sets on the minimap. And here we will open up and I will craft this. The reason we're crafting these is because we can, okay? They're, they're automatically gonna come with a skill tier and then we're just gonna roll skill haste onto them or whatever you're comfortable with, okay? It's your opinion. And yeah, I want you to use whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. Hopefully you got the materials that it takes to craft each piece. And I'm just gonna craft each one just to have an extra even though I don't need all of them my, myself, right? You only need four of these. In my opinion, you want the backpack, you want the holster, you want the mask, and you want the knee pads. That's my opinion. That's how I'm going to run this setup. And you run it however you want, right? But this is the easiest way to grab this. And then we have the backpack right here, which has an amazing uh, talent on it, which lowers the cooldown, okay? <clears throat> and then we're going to come over here, and we're going to see that when we use this, it's going to decrease our feedback loop. So I'll break that down all to you later. I just want to make sure you're getting this gear easily. Also, when you open up the map, you see right here, this area is all gear set, okay? This is an area. Sometimes you have it on main missions, but this area means that you can do anything within this area and you have a chance at dropping gear sets. So you could do all these control points and control points are really good for XP and loot most of the time, okay? I do all of my stuff on Heroic. But if you can't handle heroic, play on whatever world difficulty you want. Or you can handle, excuse me. This is what I like to run personally. I'm gonna go over the whole build right now. This is an insane build. And I've been thinking about how I wanted to demonstrate it to you guys in our community and help our channel grow and help you guys be better gamers, right? Overall. So first off, we are making use of hardwired. Yes. I feel like hardwired is not a good healing build. Just my opinion. 
But right here, we're gonna be reviving. We ain't healing shit, bro. Like, if you want, if you consider reviving healing, then I understand. But you know what I mean? Like, yo, yo, hardwire has a use. It really does. Okay, so two piece hardwire gives you 15% skill haste. Three piece gives you 15% skill damage and repair skills. Also, the four piece gives you, like my boy Jay said, the bread and the butter. All right, right here we have feedback loop. Whenever you use or cancel a skill, your other skill is automatically refreshed and increased. Total skill damage and repairs by 10% for 20 seconds, okay? This can occur once per 20 seconds, all right? But when you're using the backpack, okay? The backpack, oh yes. Instead of having your short circuit take 20 seconds, you decrease the feedback loop to 10 seconds, okay? So short circuit is the talent. And that's what you need to be running on this, right? Backpack for sure. I highly suggest armor regeneration. A lot of experienced players also feel the same way. Shout out to my boy, Oye. I 100% understand you wanting to use Hazard on this build. I feel like Hazard is pretty good if you're, if you're fighting against a team or you're doing a mission that has like a lot of cleaners or you're taking a lot of Hazard damage. And you're feeling like your armor regen isn't working but with the armor regen you could take any damage you could take bullet damage you could take hazard damage and your armor is still going to regen so i feel like armor regen is the better choice out of all the choices that you have on this build that's just my opinion you could play it however you want okay you might have a different opinion you might want to do something different but right here i'm using also skill duration i like skill duration because it increases <clears throat> excuse me the time of my revive hive and it makes it over a minute okay so if i throw my revive hive somewhere I'm, I'm not i don't have to worry about it for a minute okay so that's pretty dope we also have six tiers of uh yellows which is a uh, skill and that allows us to have three more charges on our uh, revive hive 60 percent revive armor repair and uh range is 30 meters and then the overall health is 420 blaze it so revive armor 93 percent you already know that's nasty armor when you're getting back up, right? Right here, I'm using the shield myself. I just use uh, health mods everywhere. Unfortunately, on this character, I don't have all my mods. So my, my shield health isn't like 16 million right now. But, you know, you could uh, get that up there. Also, I wanted to introduce to you guys the BTSU gloves, which you already know about. If you don't know about, I made a video yesterday. And uh, it's, it's titled, You Need This ASAP. And it is the BTS you break down. And I teach you everything you need to know about it. But right here, I will break it down. Detonating a hive refreshes all skill cooldowns and grants them overcharge. So if you saw in the intro, once I BTS you is going to give everybody back their revive hive. Okay. The only thing that they're only going to have one charge in that revive hive. But that's still so OP, bro. That is insanely good. That is so good. I'm just going to say that a few more times. That is so good. Okay. If you have three people that went down, you guys are having trouble. Like we were doing heroic mission for modifiers for that extra 100% XP. And, you know, just when you go down, you don't have a revive hive no more. So this is going to bring back that revive hive. All right. A lot of you have also told me, bro, this is a beautiful thing to do, right? Overcharge your whole team for 15 seconds and their skills absolutely destroy for 15 seconds post stacks. Oh, my God, my all my durations are insane all my damage is insane 15 seconds okay two second two minute cooldown all right i was about to say two seconds two minute cooldown is what a lot of you guys are telling me about so i got the answer right here for you okay so this answer allows you to be a tank lord okay so i want you to use your btsu gloves when you're on cooldown even when you're on combat you could change your items now okay so just in case you didn't know that this is going to give you 10% more shield health. It used to be the 20, but I'll take the 10. It's okay. And we go up to 14 million, almost 15 million health on the shield. So that's going to be a chunky shield. Pretty hard for them to kill, right? So the four pieces of hardwire, this is my opinion and only my opinion, okay? I suggest using mask backpack for the backpack talent. That's a must, I feel. And then a holster and knee pads. Everything else is just situational in your opinion, but this is how I like it, okay? So while I rock my BTSU gloves, we'll go over to the chest. While I'm rocking BTSU gloves, I want you to have a back a chest that looks like this, okay? You might not be able to get this type of chest, but you know, I play a lot and I just got really lucky while demonstrating this build to my friends. 
and getting their opinions and using it in missions for a little bit before I showcased it. This chest just dropped from an open world uh, New York boss. Okay, we were trying to get the Lady Death while we were showcasing. And I got lucky with this bit, bad boy, okay? Came with max explosive, max armor. And that's beautiful for me, man. And then our armor regen, we slapped it on there. We have a 13% protection from elites. You can rock whatever you want. This is personally what I like since I know I'm going to have to revive my team. And sometimes I know I'm going to get shot by elite enemies. So, you know, 5% armor. Phenomenal. Almost pushing us to that 1 million armor. Vanguard, a talent that is absolutely slept on. And if you know about it, and you're not sleeping, I see you, baby. But most people don't really know about this. This is deploying a shield makes it invulnerable, which means unkillable, unbreakable for five seconds, okay? It's only five seconds, but in five seconds, you could do a lot. So if you're in PvP, you could destroy a player in five seconds. If you're in PvE, you could take the most insane damage for five seconds so that your team of DPS gamers, damage builds, can destroy the boss, okay? Also, Right here is going to grant 45% of your armor as a bonus and all other allies for 20 seconds, okay? 25 second cooldown. So for 20 seconds, you're going to have dumb armor and then the cooldown is 25 seconds. So beautiful build right here. I also suggest running the Tardigrade. I feel like this chest is phenomenal and it has armor regen on it too. Max armor. And this is going to give whenever you or allies armor breaks they gain 80 percent of your armor okay as a bonus for 10 seconds it may not seem like that much but 80 percent of 900 thousand is pretty good bros and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a cooldown per allies 45 seconds but if you get a kill with your specialization it removes this cooldown for all allies so make sure you're trying to get that uh kill for the nano plating to reset okay ablative nano plating this talent is dumb nuts beautiful i love it okay so this is the build also once you once you use your btsu i highly repair i highly uh, suggest this with some repair skills for you but you know it's all choice it's all whatever you want to run i personally enjoy running this build like this right now so you don't have to remove your btsu's i'm just trying to make it so that you could use something that's even powerful while you're on that cooldown and then when you're not on that cooldown you put it back okay so that's my opinion. Weapons, in my in my opinion, they don't really matter so much, dude. If you want to use the Liberty to uh, heal your shield, that's that's up to you. That's not a bad choice. You could get up to 90% heals if you stack up to 30 off body shots and then hit the headshot one time to uh, use the buff. But I personally love Sweet Dreams, dude. Nothing come close to meleeing an enemy and instantly killing any non-elite enemies. It is so hilarious when we kill enemies and... They just explode in front of our our team and it, it's just like i personally go for the enemies that have purple bars and it is phenomenal i love this build and i hope you like what you've seen so far okay we're gonna get that 15 percent uh bonus armor while aiming a skill we're also gonna get 12 percent damage to anything we're gonna get that plus one tier which absolutely works for this build, okay? So armor kits also apply to all friendly skills within proxy. Whatever damage you're going for, I suggest you use. And yeah, you also have the artificial hive that fixes everything for you and some skill healing with the EMP pulse, which is phenomenal on a, on a support build, right? All right, so I want to give you guys some uh, tips on this build, like why I personally like it and I, why I think it's powerful. So um, yeah. If you're solo, I would suggest probably adding pistol damage to this build, but if you're in a group, I would suggest running it the same way that I'm running it, okay? So right here, I just want to uh, go ahead and show you. I'm going to use my charge, right? I'm going to BTSU proc. And then, uh, yeah. So right here, I, I still have uh, my charges because I'm BTSU proc. And they'll come back really fast. I'm going to have to wait until my hive actually disappears. Like, you see, I could uh, reset it right there instead of waiting 16 seconds and have unlimited hives, right? Also, you have a cooldown on the bottom that's in white right now. Until that fully, fully goes away, you can't do it again, okay? So, every time that white uh, mark finishes, you'll be able to get another tick of uh, your revive, okay? So, right there, we should be right, good to go right here. And then that's three. And then you keep doing that. In a minute, you'll have like all six back, okay? You just wait for that uh, cooldown to finish. And then boom, 
we could get another charge as you can see the charge is going up right so yeah like i said i want to also uh, show you real quick before we uh finish this all right so you're not going to be able to give people more than one uh hive and if they already have a hive i'm not sure if they're even going to get a hive but they might get more hives if they already have one we'll see you guys let me know all right so i have a vanguard proc right now we're gonna let them kill us fuck we got our armor regenning that way we don't need a healer i'm gonna take you apart armor regen is pretty uh slow but it still works so assistance needed all right here we go we're our hive drop down so if we're looking at the bottom of our if we're looking at our skills we're gonna see that it says zero zero right so in this little second right here you shouldn't die and right now you can put it out your shield and then have another uh, res so basically i'll let him kill me now i should probably rock some grenades too serious trauma detected and then i'll have uh, my other hive so Agent out of action. <laughs> this is basically what i want you guys to know that this is this is how you could play you could be the aggro for the group I would suggest rolling until your uh, thing comes back and then pulling out your shield to refresh. And then I would just play super aggro with this build. I would also try to revive my dudes, right? And once the cooldown goes off, I would just use it to have another charge until I have like all my charge. So pay attention to those cooldowns all you can. And I think you could do like anything really with this build. This is how we uh, complete our first legendary, man. It was so tough and we were just like going down so much and just getting res the whole time absolutely mental but yeah i hope you guys uh, like the build man thank you for watching i work pretty hard on these vids and uh we'll catch you later on twitch man hopefully uh, you'll be down to do a raid and have some fun because that's what we're all about on our channel we try our best to have fun i know there's a lot of stuff going on in the world but you know it's fun time for us man all right, hopefully this guy can kill me because I absolutely love this build. Agent and then get revived. <laughs> and then the and then the hive has so much health that you're not gonna like. It's not gonna break easily. It will break sometimes though, so keep that in mind. And then I suggest really uh moving back and forth. That way you're not uh you know that way you get that extra uh, hive, right? All right, salute. Oh, what shit? We got more. <laughs> Salute, and I'll catch you later, man, over on Twitch, for real. Peace, baby. Serious trauma detected. Agent down. Agent down. But Agent gets back up. And Agent tries again, because Agents never give up. <laughs> Assistance needed. Close. 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 Close.